Yo, what is going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to convert your 2d images into 3d using the displacement effect so let's take a look at this little preview that i just made so uh, we have this still image right here and this is what we'll be doing with this image okay looks pretty cool right so the way that we create this effect is by using uh, by creating a displacement map so if i just go back to hit film express you can see that i have this image right here and in the other composite chart i have the displacement map created so the way the displacement effect works is that it's going to use uh, black and white to determine what is in the foreground and what is in the background everything that is in the white is going to be the thing that is going to be closest to the camera and everything that is going to be black is going to be the farthest thing away from the camera um, so uh, that is basically it so it's going to it's basically going to tell hit film what to move and what to keep things in you know stationary uh, so to create this displacement effect what we'll do is we will need to load up our image in our favorite editing program the image editing program I'll be using GIMP you can obviously use Photoshop or something like that so I have this image right here and then I'll just uh, create a new layer and I'll just fill it in with black color and I'm just going to decrease the opacity of this black layer to around 80 uh, so just to see what's going behind this and then I'll just select the brush tool and I'm going to set the opacity to around 20 or 21 and then I'm just going to change the size as well and then uh, I'll just paint in with the white colors make sure that it, the white color is selected and then you paint in like that so we'll just paint in the head and the body as well and make sure that while you are doing this you do this in the continuous motion in the continuous flow otherwise it's going to mess up with the, your final animation or the final output so let's just do this quickly you can obviously take time with this make sure everything is properly painted in uh, you can see that I just missed something right here just fill that in like that okay so now we need to select the face portion so this is the thing the next thing that is going to be the closest to the camera hence it's this color is going to be a bit brighter than the previous color so you can see that we are painting it in like that just do this properly and then we just select the eyes so we can just paint that in as well and then we can just undo this and decrease the size and just zoom in a bit and color this in like that and the nose as well just select like that as well okay and then we have the mouth as well maybe I shouldn't select the ears so let's see if I can undo this so let's just switch back to the black color and paint that back in make that and from this side as well Let's just not include this in our displacement map. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'll just again switch to white color and I just want to grab this tip of this nose and make it a bit more brighter. Like that. Yeah, I can set the opacity to 100 and maybe like fill this in properly or maybe I can just go somewhere around 90 ish so 
Let's see. Um, maybe something over here as well. Okay, let's just keep it as it is. I don't want to go too far with this. So just a quick example. Uh, the thing that you are going to make, if I just crank this opacity to 100, you can see that uh, there is our background in the black. And the thing that is the most closest to the camera is this, the tip of this nose. That's why it is the brightest. And so yeah, that is basically what the idea of the displacement map is. So once you are done with this, you can go to file and just export this image. And we can save that to the desktop. Uh, maybe let's call this. I've already saved this here with this name. So I'll just call this one and click on export. Then I'm just going to go to hit film and I'll just delete all these composite shots. I'm just going to import this image into hit film and the main image as well. So it's right here. And then I'll just right click on this, click on make composite shot and I'll just call this displacement. And then I'll just click on the match timeline button and click on OK. Now right click on the, I said it's displacement. Now right click on the second image, click on make composite shot and just keep it as it is. And just click on match timeline, click on OK again. So now we'll just scale it down. So let's go to transform and just scale it down to about, let's see, 34. And do the same thing with your displacement map as well. So just scale that down to 34 as well. Okay. So now on the displacement image, we'll go to effects and search for blur effect and apply it on this image. And then we go to our main composition, grab the displacement comp and put it on top of this image like that. And now we can toggle off the visibility of the displacement composite chart. And in the effects, we will search for the displacement effect and apply it on the image. Expand the displacement, set the source layer to displacement. And now we can keyframe the horizontal displacement or the vertical displacement or even the both. So just make sure that the wrap pixel is set to no. And then we can just set the horizontal. So we start with uh, maybe let's start right here. You can see that it looks creepy when you take it too far. So uh, let's make it, let's not go crazy with this and set an amount to like 79-ish, create a keyframe. Then we can go to the end of the keyframe and we can set this to like negative 79 or somewhere over there. Okay, so now we can set the vertical displacement to zero. We don't want that. So let's play this and see how this looks. So uh, there we go. We have this subtle movement in our still image. And that's basically it. So that's about this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.